Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkian Wiersma and today I have another unboxing video. Uh, but before I start, just a teeny tiny update. Well, first of all, if you uh, probably, you may have hear it now if you follow my channel, but I have a uh, different sound if, I'm, uh, if everything goes well because I wear a, a wireless mic. And uh, that allows me to move around and I don't have to be up close as the camera as I uh, had to be uh, before. Um, so I hope that will will work out and uh, let me to be able, like I said, move around and uh, grab lens, show them, put them back and etc. So that's the first. The second is, uh, it feels uh, for me like I've been away from my YouTube channel for uh, a week or two. That wasn't the case because I uploaded uh, last week two videos. But it feels like that because I'm not as connected with my archives as I like to be, as I should be, because of the uh, reconstruction uh, reconstruction work we have done on the house, remodeling, uh, painting, etc. Everything. Uh, it's almost finished, but um, yeah, those last weeks, last I think this week and next week, uh, we are running out a little bit. Uh, because there were some circumstances, but um, it will be fine, everything. But yeah, so uh, what are my orchids? I try to look at them uh, to get to my, uh, my, uh, my, my looks, basically, to uh, see what's going on, uh, because I have still have some trips uh, and um, some aphids that I need to deal with, which I do, but I need to be on top of, uh, uh, on top of it. Uh, but that's basically it. So I water my orchids, I have a quick look, and normally I will be in my orchid room and uh, greenhouse several times a day because I really enjoy the hobby. But yeah, it's a time issue. So that's why I feel that I've been uh, been away for a while. So those two updates I wanted to uh, have out there just uh, to let you guys know. I'm working uh, behind the scenes to get everything ready and I will be uh, probably filming a bit more again. Um, so that's it uh, for the intro. Uh, let's start because I found two uh, orchids that I really want to uh, include into my collection. Um, so, and I found them, like I said, so let's have a look at uh, how they look and unpack them. So like the uh, title suggested, already I found these guys on eBay. I bought them from the orchids man. Uh, he's also uh, located in the Netherlands as I am. Uh, but he, uh, I ordered more orchids from him, uh, from him, and uh, they are uh, always in a good condition. It's a very friendly one, but he has a nice collection uh, for sale uh, quite often. And there was one on my uh, wish list. I mentioned that in my uh, update, one of my updates. I will not say <laughs> which one of you already uh, will know which orchid I use, or at least which uh, genre. And I. Uh, wanted to sort of replacement for one of the orchids, uh, but I will show, uh, show that one uh, um, when I, we did the unboxing. So let's start unboxing this. And let's have a look. Sorry for the noise. It's always a bit noisy, the unpacking, but yeah, that's on the other hand, the part of the, of the game, I guess. <laughs> so, um, I'm very curious to see how they look. Ah, tape, tape, tape. There you go. Okay, let's get them out. Put the paper aside and you already see some green leaves here. I found a very nice Miltonia for sale at his store. Oh, look, quite a lot of roots. I didn't see the amount of roots on the picture. It's a little bit desiccated. It could use some watering, I guess, but the first bulb, let me see, is a uh, yeah, it's shriv started to shrivel here. It has new growth growing here. But which orchid is it? Let me show you the tag. It's the Miltonia Flavesense. If I pronounce it correctly, Flavesense. Um, so that's the first one. 
And I will tell you in a minute why I ordered this one. Obviously, I would like to have it, but, um, uh, well, actually, I can tell you now, and I showed the plan, but I thought I had it, but it turned out it probably is in Moraliana and not a Flavescent. So it was mislabeled. And then uh, I saw actually the other orchids for sale, and then I found this one in, this, uh, in the same shop as well. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to order this one as well. But it's a really uh, healthy looking uh, plant. So I'm going to put it aside just for a second. And this is easy now because I have a wireless mic so I can move around. <laughs> and you can still hear me. And this is the one that started this perch, perch. Whoops, something is falling. Looks like little stones. And there we have it. It's not a very big one yet, but the price was uh, according to the size. I don't know what this is spotted in. But like I said, it looked like little stones. Grit. Aquarium grit, almost. Hmm, I don't know. Let's get the tape off. And the paper, it's a little bit damp. So it can come out of the pot. That would be better. We have a nice growing root tip. Luckily, so that means that I can, uh, we actually have one, two, three growing root tips. So I can uh, repot this uh, very soon. And there are sort of grits, maybe a seashell, something like that. I'm not. I'm not completely sure. Well, it looks more like grit to me. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. It will go out uh, out of this media. The rest is uh, sphagnum moss. So yeah, and I don't uh, use this kind of media for myself watering pots. But this is. Do I have it in focus? Yes, this is Cattleya perparata striata. That is the one that I mentioned in my uh, care collab about the perparata. This one I would I would like to add and the workhouse in the eye, if I pronounce it correctly. So uh, I re already have the workhouse in the eye, but I didn't have the striata yet. And now I do, so I'm very happy. It looks healthy, not a big plan yet, but like I said, the price was uh, according to the size of the orchid. So it was a, a very uh, nice uh, price. Let me put it here so you can see it. And quickly grab the other one it's a very big mount of some uh, core no not cork uh, bark some sort of bark it looks very beautiful I must admit it looks very very beautiful but I cannot keep up with the watering even in my greenhouse with mounds so and I really 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 enjoy growing self watering so I will take this off and probably will lose some uh, roots. This one has a heck of a lot of roots. But let me see. Yeah, we have a few new ones growing here as well. I don't know if they will show up, but um, that was a bit too quickly, I think. I'm, I apologize. Just above my finger, there's a little green root tip. We have some green roots. Uh, some branches from roots are already attached to the mount. So I probably will lose those, but we shall see. So we'll uh, water these orchids for now, put them in the greenhouse so they can rest a little bit uh, because they were on a journey for uh, approximately two and a half days, I think. So it wasn't that long, but still they can use uh, some air, some fresh air and some water. So this is it for now. I uh, will be back with the uh, repotting videos as soon as I can and uh, I will do soon my blooming update because I have some first time bloomers which I really want to show you to you guys so that will be uh, very soon um, on my channel as well. For now thank you for watching and as usual if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I will, will get to them as soon as I can. I still answer my comments it may take me a day uh, sometimes two days I try to be uh, uh, yeah, uh, given an answer within a day, but sometimes it takes me a little bit longer. 
uh, due to these circumstances. But that's it. Uh, that's it uh, for now. And I will be back to my regional, uh, regional schedule <laughs> so very soon. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.